It is the 30th of May, this 2016. My name is Ralph Turciano, and I'm here to cover with you the top three health headlines of the past seven days. Starting off with number one, Triclosan soap may now actually be in the food that you eat. That was the actual title. The title was actually Common Antibacterial Triclosan Found in Most Freshwater Streams. It just happens to be that the plants which thrive off the fresh water in these streams also now have triclosan in their fruits and or vegetables and according to them possibly even in your livestock after months of monitoring they found triclosan in all edible portions of tomato and onion plants again that's what they looked at they found triclosan the antibacterial of course it's found the toothpaste shampoos longer detergents you name it it's a soap everything in 58% of the freshwater streams. The probably triclosan, according to researchers, that it kills both good and bad bacteria. Studies all show that it contributes to medically uh, necessary antibiotics becoming less effective. Triclosan is also toxic to allergy, disrupts hormones in animals. This can hamper normal animal development. And the FDA is currently investigating its impact on humans, albeit there's been tons and tons of research out there showing that triclosan pretty much is not good. So maybe the FDA will catch on and ban it like it should have done many, many, many years ago. Number two, sugar substitutes may cut calories but don't offer health benefits for individuals with obesity. They particularly looked at one in particular called aspartame or aspartame. Our study shows that individuals with obesity who consume artificial sweeteners, particularly aspartame, may have worse glucose management than those who don't take sugar substitutes which meaning you try and do the right thing, but however, not in this way. The study suggests that the bacteria in the gut may be able to break down the artificial sweeteners resulting in negative health effects. What all those negative health effects are, researchers aren't certain as of yet, but they will be continuing the research on humans in regard to this current up-to-date research. Number three. Vitamin nicotinamide riboside protects mice from diabetes complications or diabetic complications, it should be. A naturally occurring vitamin nicotinamide riboside, which you can buy on store shelves, can lower blood sugar levels, reduce fatty liver, and prevent peripheral nerve damage in mice, at least, of prediabetes and type 2 diabetes, according to a new study of the Research University of Iowa and the Iowa City VA Healthcare System. Now, what they discovered was the certain metabolites of nicotinamide riboside, which somehow diabetes tends to particularly be hard on and lower those levels. By adding nicotinamide riboside back into the diet, i.e. through a supplement, they found it actually raised those healthy metabolites back up to normal levels and henceforth prevented a lot of the damage which is normally caused as a result of having diabetes. Again, they have to carry this out to human studies, but at least in mice, they're safe. That was the top three health headlines of the past seven days. I look forward to seeing you next Monday, and thank you as always for listening, and I'll catch you all, or ye all, you all, next time. See y'all. See you then.